Hey everybody, welcome aboard. When I first got this boat, it came with a big diesel generator in the engine room. One of the first things I did was to get rid of it. Then I got a whole bunch of solar panels and a couple of wind generators. By investing in solar panels and wind generators, we've become energy independent. And I love the feeling of self-sufficiency that comes with that. Our refrigeration and freezer, lights, communications equipment, navigation equipment, autopilot, computers, we even have an ice machine and a washing machine, and all of it can run on the electricity that we generate from the sun and the wind. This saves us money in the long run by eliminating the costs of having to run a generator or paying to be at a dock for shore power. It also enables us to spend much longer durations of time at anchor in some pretty remote locations. Contained in these two boxes is a wind generator called the D400. It's made by Eclectic Energy, and it's one of the most highly regarded wind generators on the market today. It produces an impressive amount of electricity, both at low wind speeds and at high wind speeds, and it is unbelievably silent in operation. I used to have a couple of Air X Marine wind generators, and I just couldn't stand how much noise they made. There were more than a few times when I went into new anchorages and my new neighbors came up to me right away and asked me to turn my wind generators off because they were just making too much noise. Most of the time I ended up just tying a string around the blade so that they wouldn't spin and I didn't use them as often as I would have had they not made so much noise. Eventually their bearings did wear out and rather than replace them, I just took them both down and gave them to a friend. We contacted Eclectic Energy and they generously donated this D400 to us. In exchange, we agreed to make an in-depth video of our installation process and an unbiased review at a later date. I'm gonna take everything out of the boxes and put them on the dinette table. This is the wind generator body. It weighs almost 37 pounds and the electricity produced by the D400 comes down these two wires, red and black, and it's available in a 12 volt version or a 24 volt version. This is the 12 volt version. This is the manual that comes with the D400. It's also available as a PDF download at Eclectic Energy's website. I think it's well written. It's pretty easy to understand. And after reading it for a few hours, I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to install the D400 myself. This is the tail assembly. It attaches to the rear of the wind generator body. It keeps the front end of the wind generator pointed directly into the eye of the wind. These are bolts, nuts, and washers that are used to attach the tail assembly to the wind generator body. These are the wind blades. The five blades attach to each other like this. Pretty easy. There's a sticker on one of the blades that reads, the blades must be installed so that this label is on the same side as the nose cone, so you know which side faces into the wind. This is the nose cone. It just goes on the front of the air blade assembly. This is an aluminum ring that goes into a groove in the air blade assembly right there. This is the rotor hub spacer and it comes with a couple of bolts and shake proof washers. This is a white powder coated hub plate. And this is the stainless steel outer hub plate. 
These are bolts, nuts, and washers that are used to attach the air blade assembly to the wind generator body. This is the tower liner. The D400 is designed to be mounted on the top of a steel or aluminum pipe, and the tower liner gets inserted into the top of that pipe, and the D400's yaw shaft gets inserted into the hole in the top of the tower liner. This is the battery voltage regulator. It prevents the batteries from being damaged by overcharging by diverting any excess energy to a couple of dump resistors where it's dissipated as heat. I'll show you the dump resistors in a moment, but first let's go through the wiring. On this end, we've got a red and black wire. These wires connect to the D400. So all of the energy created by the D400 comes into the battery voltage regulator through these two wires. On the other end, we've got these two red wires. Each of these connects to a different battery bank. The D400 and the voltage regulator will charge one battery bank first. And then when that bank is fully charged, then it will charge the other bank. And then when both of the banks are fully charged, if the blades are still spinning, then it will divert any excess energy through these two gray wires to the dump resistors. Finally, this black wire goes to ground. These are the dump resistors. When all the batteries are full and don't need any more charge, if the air blades are still spinning and the D400 is still generating electricity, then excess energy is sent by the battery voltage regulator to these, where it's dissipated as heat. I wasn't too crazy about the idea of having something on the boat that actually got a little hot, but I talked to a couple of D400 users and they told me that they've never had any issues with this. In any case, I'm looking forward to paying very close attention to these and recording our observations and letting you know what we find in our upcoming review of the D400. These are gray wires, which are used to attach the two dump resistors to each other. And then there are a bunch of bolts, nuts, and washers for connecting them all together. These are the fuses. This is a 50 amp fuse that gets installed between the D400 and the battery voltage regulator. And these are two 30 amp fuses. And each of these gets installed in between one of the battery banks and the battery voltage regulator. Those are all the parts that are included with the D400 wind generator. Another thing that I'm adding to this installation is two 50-foot spools of 6 AWG wire. I'll use this wire to connect the wind generator to the battery voltage regulator and the battery voltage regulator to the batteries. In our next video, we'll install the D400 on Paragon. See you next week.